love it. <laughs> Hello everyone, Rachel here with McQueen Science Center and welcome to today's episode of SciSparks. This pine cone holds a secret. What could it be? Stay tuned to find out. This is a pine cone. This is also a pine cone. How does one become the other? Watch. When we put this pine cone in water, over time it starts to close up. It does this to hold its seeds inside when the weather is cold and wet, and wait for the perfect environmental conditions to release them and allow them to grow. That's why our pine cone opens and closes, but how does it work? Well, to understand what's happening inside our pine cone, we'll need the help of liquid nitrogen and this. This is a bimetallic strip. That means each side is a different metal. Now watch what happens when we cool it down. Way down. Cold makes things contract or shrink, but different materials contract at different rates. Because the left side contracts faster than the right side, the rod bent to the left. This is similar to what happens with our pine cones. Each scale of the pine cone has an outer layer and an inner layer. As they absorb water, the outer layer expands faster, pushing the scales to the center. And when the pine cone dries out, the outer layer will dry faster, making the scales unfurl. Plants have lots of ways of spreading their seeds, and they can get pretty creative. The touch-me-not plant flings its seeds as the slightest contact makes the seed pod curl up, like this slap bracelet. Maple seeds float away on the wind, spinning to the ground like a helicopter. The squirting cucumber builds up so much pressure that it hurls its seeds, like these Orbeez coming out of a balloon. <laughs> but what all of these plants have in common is a shared journey of evolution that ensures their seeds have the best chance of sprouting new life New life that's preparing to emerge from right under our feet. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's episode of SciSparks. To catch new episodes as soon as they're released, subscribe to McQueen Science Center's YouTube page or visit us at mcqueen.org. Until next time.